Hi everybody, welcome to what I am calling my sew and tell. Now I know that is not original and I know someone else has already used it, but this is exactly what this type of video is. It's a sew and tell. So I'm sharing with you my recent makes, which is this entire outfit of comfy loungewear. I made the pants, made the top, and made the headband. Now the pants, I used a Sinclair pattern called the Sunset Lounge Pants. And I used a French terry that I got from Cali Fabrics. And it is a sort of paint daubs, though it does look sort of camo. It's got shades of gray and pink, and it's a heathered French terry. It's super comfortable. I love it. The top is also um, uh, from, the fabric is from Cali Fabrics, is a double brushed poly in this sort of gray charcoal color. Um, I use it for the top and also for the yoga band on these pants. And the headband is, I like how I'm talking about the headband. The pattern for the top is by Lyle & Co. Lyle & Co. and it's called Chai Tea. And the headband is just from a tutorial I watched on YouTube and I'll link it below. So let me go back to the pants. Um, you can have different variations on these pants. I chose to use to sew in the pockets and I really like them. The uh, pocket opening is also as a piece of the double brushed poly. And I chose to do the yoga waistband without the drawstring. And I'll show you the options of the variations when I take you through the Sunset Lounge pattern itself. Inside this yoga band, there is a piece of elastic. I can't even feel it. Um, it's there to help keep the pants up and, and staying on. And I think you can um, sew it without this piece of elastic. I don't know if it's gonna make a huge difference or not. So maybe in the future, I will um, test that. If you can tell, um, I've got some lines radiating, radiating out from the crotch, and I think I can help that a little bit by doing a pattern adjustment. I did not do a mock-up prior to sewing these, and in the tutorial for the Sunset Lounge uh, pants, um, I'm going to show you the adjustment that I will make for my next pair to kind of help eliminate some of these pull lines and get a better fit. But honestly, it's still comfortable, I just think it could look slightly better. Um, and the top I love. I love the little pleats. It just, it's simple, but it has a little bit of detail that just makes it really cute. Got these sleeves. You can, one of the options is to roll it up if you want. Um, I keeping mine down. Uh, what I like about this pattern is that you, it has different size, uh, cup templates. So A, B, C, and D for the cup. I chose to sew a size uh, small C cup, though I technically do wear a D. I don't know if you, <laughs> I don't, it doesn't look like it, but I do. And um, I thought I could get away by looking at the finished measurements with a size C, but I think I would prefer a fit in a um, D. A little bit more room, though the size small is nice in the shoulders. And I'm going to get a little bit more room here, and then I think next time I will grade out from a small here under the arms to a medium to give me more um, room here. Because see, it's like accentuating things that I don't need to be accentuated because I've been staying at home for the last few months and I'm um, gaining a little bit of weight. So I don't need that accentuated, so we need to take that out a bit. <laughs> Anyway, that's okay, that's life, okay? But this is very, very comfy. I love it, I do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you through the patterns, the, the pant pattern, the t-shirt pattern, and the headband, again, is just a tutorial. Uh, you know, you just have a rectangular piece of fabric and you sew it up, it's super easy, and you can just make a bunch of these in no time flat. And I love that I was able to make a coordinating um, headband for my pants, though I'm not mismatchy-matchy, but I still thought it was really cute. 
And uh, oh yeah, another thing that I really like about Sinclair is that they offer petite, regular, and tall sizes. So for taller girls like me, who's almost five foot ten, the tall length is absolutely perfect. I don't know if you can tell, but it goes just down to the floor, which is how I like my pants, how I like my lounge pants. So let's go ahead and go over to my computer so I can walk you through the Sunset Lounge pant pattern and the chai tea pattern. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chai tea pattern first. The sizing in this pattern is extra small through extra, extra large. And what I like about it is it has pattern pieces for different size cups. So we have sizes A and B and then C and D cups. So here the difference between the two views is that you can roll the sleeve up to make a cuff in view B. It doesn't require any different pattern pieces. It's simply a matter of just rolling up the sleeve. So as far as the fabric guide is concerned, um, I used 58 inch um, double brushed poly and interestingly enough, um, I was able to make it out of only one yard where here it requires one and a quarter yard for a small, I cut a small C cup in this pattern. Um, and I used it to make the top band on my pants. So, um, Interesting they want you to use a one and a quarter yard. I think that you might be able to get away with one yard if you're using 50 inch fabric, depending on the size um, you cut. Anyway, you can pick your pattern using, of course, the measurements. Um, for me, I went by my upper bust and I chose a small, and I actually am, a 30, around 35. And so there's the waist and hip so normal for me to have a smaller size on the bust and the waist and then my hip be larger but for this pattern i just cut a small all the way through and as i mentioned i wish i had a little bit more room so next time i cut i'm going to still cut a size small but i'm going to cut a bust size of d cup and then I'm going to grade out from the underarm to a medium. And I think that's going to give me exact fit that I want. But it's really easy to use this chart here to determine what size that you need. And I like that they give the finished garment measurements down here. I think that it's extremely helpful to know what the finished measurements are when choosing what sizes to cut. So it's a really nice um, chart here. So for instance, next time when I cut a size small and I do a D cup, because I want a little bit more room, I'm gonna have 40 inches around the bust. So that's going to give me the ease that I'm looking for. So you really just wanna make sure that, um, you know, your measurements, and then you minus your measurements from the finished measurements, and that's gonna tell you how much ease and, um, you'll start to understand how much ease you like in certain patterns or styles. And then you also have the hip measurements here. So for me, um, I'm gonna grade out to a medium towards the hip. Now this doesn't go all the way down to your hip, but I'm gonna end up with a 42 and a half inches because I'm grading out to that medium and using the size D template. So it um, gives you some nice instructions on printing the pattern. And here it tells you the pattern pieces that you will need. So you will need a back. So that's going to be four. And you're going to need a front. So the front, you have the A and B cup template is piece one. The C cup template is piece two, and the D cup template is piece um, three. So depending on the size of your cup, you only need to cut one front, one of these, and then one back. So the back doesn't have a corresponding cup size because it's your back. You're just gonna cut, you know, if it's small, extra small, whatever it is. So it makes it really easy. Of course, you're going to need a yoke, a neck binding and a sleeve. 
And then there's some nice definitions here. If you are a new newer to sewing, it's going to really make your life easier to know what they're talking about. The instructions are very well written. I think that the illustrations are wonderful, especially with this bit, um, because you have a yoke here and the seams are all enclosed. It can be a little bit tricky to do this part. It's kind of like rolling it into a burrito. And um, so for if you're newer to sewing, it might be a little bit tricky. I think for that reason, I might um, film a sew along when I make this shirt again, because I think it might be helpful to see it in action. Um, and then for this shirt, you also are attaching the neck binding before the the last shoulder seam is sewn so that makes it easier to not have to um, stretch out a circular neck band into a neck hole you know you're just doing it straight across so that will make life a little bit easier and uh, the sleeves everything else is really really simple um, they use a half inch seam allowance instead of your standard 5 eighths and then a lot of pattern companies, indie pattern companies that are for knits, knit patterns, they will use a quarter inch. But this pattern calls for a half inch in most seam allowances. And then here you have some different options for finishing the tee with your hem. You can do a um, cover stitch if you have it or you can do a double needle, or you can still use a single needle. I actually did that for this um, shirt, and I just stitched it once, went back and stitched it all around again. I do have a cover stitch, but I am quite lazy and didn't want to switch up threads to match the color. Um, so that's it for this pattern. Um, you've got your little pleats. Everything is very easy, the pattern pieces went together very well. Um, instructions are great. I love this top. Um, the only thing I'm going to change is the sizing a little bit. So now we're opening up the Sunset Knit Lounge Pants from Sinclair Patterns. And this um, pattern comes um, also through extra small, through extra, extra large. And there are some different options for the waistband. I'm gonna take a look at that. Um, let's find those. We have pictures first. So the different options are you can have the yoga waistband like I have, and you can put in some um, eyelets and a little drawstring. I opted to not have any drawstring, so I'd have just the yoga waistband, and I did the pockets. You can do a maternity rise cut with a ruched waistband, um, and you can also change the length, of course, to have cropped. Um, this one is regular rise with the yoga waistband pockets and drawstrings. So what's the difference between these two exactly? Full length pants with pockets and yoga waistband. So I'm not real sure what the difference is between these two. It doesn't look like there is any, to be honest. And then you can also have the maternity rise with the ruched waistband using the full length. So they are just super comfy as you can tell. Let's go back up to the top here. I really love Sinclair patterns for how they guide you through taking your measurements and deciding what size you want. I also love that they offer a petite option, regular and tall option. This is useful, especially for me because I'm taller. I'm five, almost five foot 10. So I like my pants to be longer. And this length for me, cutting the tall was super, it, it was just spot on for me. They also talk about you know, the final measurements and, and how the waist is going to have negative ease. It's going to have four inch negative ease. The hips are also going to have about three and a quarter inch negative ease. Um, so there's a lot of helpful information here that's going to guide you to the right size for you. Um, for me, I think I cut... Um, so based on the measurement table, I cut a size eight at the waist. So that's a U.S. size eight. 
and then I graded it out to a size 10 in the hips because my hips uh, kind of just are a bit, I don't say large, but it's quite a difference. So I'm always cutting um, one or two sizes up in my hips. And of course, I did consult with the finished measurements to make sure that uh, I had enough room, I had enough ease. So on this page, we have the final measurements for petite, regular, and tall sizes. It gives you the inseam full length, um, the inseam for the cropped length, and then even your calf circumference, which is helpful because I have read, you know, sometimes I'm reading pattern reviews that with pants, the calves might be a little too small. So um, that's a really good measurement to have. So the measurements in inches and also in centimeters. Let me saw that. Um, oh, yep, there's some other variations I didn't go over. So this is the one that I made. Well, I made this waistband because I didn't include the drawstring, but I did add the pockets, which are super, super cute. So you can really do a lot with this pant pattern. You can make them more dressy, depending, like you can use a, a heavier ponte if you want. You can make them more loungy, like the ones I'm wearing. I've got the French terry. You can use jersey. There's just, really, you can just do so much. We have more, more options here, more pictures. And Sinclair patterns, with every one of their pattern, they go into about choosing the appropriate fabric and how much stretch it needs also talks about the weight it's super super helpful especially if you're a beginner because choosing fabric can be a little bit daunting and she gives you everything that you need including what kind of needle you want to use super super helpful um how to tell how to, how much stretch a knit has is has is has <laughs> and top stitching i mean this is this isn't just instructions this is an actual tutorial tips for sewing knits and tips for hemming and as i mentioned um i used some interfacing or for some knit i'm sorry knit stay tape So as I mentioned, I use um, some something called Knit In Stable Tape, which is seam tape to help stabilize the um, hem of my shirt. And you can also do this with your pants. It's so it doesn't become wavy and it just helps it lay nice and flat. I didn't use it in my pants, but I used it in my, um, my shirt. So depending on the weight of your fabric, you may want to use some stabilizing tape. Um, so the pattern pieces are really easy to put together. They go together very nicely. Everything matches up. She also talks about um, fit a little bit and having to grade patterns and how to do that. And I mentioned before that I felt like I needed um, a little bit of an adjustment because Let's take a look. If you look at this, you see these pole lines? As I showed you earlier, that was kind of happening to me. So when I make this pattern again, I'm going to give myself a full inner thigh seat adjustment. So we're bringing out this inseam to give more room so that I won't have those poles. So I like how she, um, and I keep referring to her as she, her name is Oksana, she's the designer and owner of Sinclair. But I like how she offers, you know, this guidance because a lot of us have fit issues and we don't know why, we don't know where these pole lines are coming from. And so this is extremely helpful. And I was able to look in the mirror, see these lines come here, say, yep, that's what I need to do and I am going to do that next time. And, you know, she talks about fabric preparation, the cutting list, I mean, everything you could want to be successful with this project 
is here. And just take a look at the nice pictures to help you with your project. I mean, you can't, I just really love Sinclair patterns for this reason. Now, if you're an experienced sewist, you probably don't need to rely on instructions like this, but I think, I, I think it's extremely helpful for those of us who are newer. Now, I have been sewing for 20 plus years on and off, but still I like to have guidance, I like to have clear pictures, and often I still learn new techniques. So there you go. So depending on what you're sewing, what version you're sewing, you can kind of bounce around while skip. But yeah, that's the Sunset Lounge Pant from Sinclair Patterns. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my first official sew and tell video. I hope to be doing more of these, and if you like this type of video, please let me know so I'll know to keep doing them. Um, I'd love to hear from you, your comments, and thumbs up, and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And um, yeah, if you want me to do a sew long for the chai tea, I think that would be probably most beneficial out of both of these, especially because of the method that the little like burrito thing that you do with this, um, it might be helpful. So let me know. And um, thank you so much for watching.